So what's up, folks? I'm back for the second video, <laughs> the second part of this lesson, of this uh, growling lesson. And I have to say something about the first video, you know, like there was a problem, you know, like I think the compressor was set too high or the volume of the microphone was set too low. And the problem was like the compressor was sucking up the asses of the whole words that sentences, you know, as if I lisped. You know, I don't lisp. I talk normally, okay? <laughs> Even if I did, but I don't, yeah. So I'm very sorry for that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this video here is going to be my redemption. So please forgive me and uh, yeah, life goes on. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, it's a short video about growling. Yeah. And, um, and before I start talking about other kind of shouts, I have to talk about the growling again because there were two techniques I didn't talk about. And there was a reason for not talking about them because I don't like them. <laughs> I told you I'm a very simple guy. I explain things very easily and very straight, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> the first technique we're going to talk about is going to be the death metal beak. <laughs> I don't even know if it has it, uh, this name. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. This is the way I'm going to name it here right now so that you understand what I'm talking about. And this technique consists of, of people like this. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be something like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't like this kind of technique. Yeah. I have to say, because, uh, I don't understand a word, you know, like I, I like recognizing some words, you know, when I'm listening to music, even though I, I don't know the lyrics, you know, I like imagining the words. I, th I think it's going in this direction, you know, uh, that's a taste of mine. And there are two singers who can shout and pronounce really well at the same time. Dave Vincent and uh, George Corsi Griner, yeah, or George Fisher, <laughs> as we will. So the second technique, um, uh, <laughs> I cannot do with this microphone here, you know, but I'll show you with another one. For example, this one here, that's a Shure SM58. That's a microphone that people usually uh, use on a gig, you know, like, um, yeah, it's normal. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the technique consists of taking your hands, you know, around the microphone here, or most of the times, both hands, you know, and shouting to the microphone yeah, to get a really deep tone, you know, like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't like this technique because, yeah, it, it seems like the center is inside a car, you know, <laughs> and you are outside the car, of course. Yeah, and he's yelling at you, and uh, you don't understand a word. Like, <laughs> and he's, uh, okay, what is he talking about? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the impression that I have. You know, uh, that's why I, I I don't use this technique. You know, so summing up, yeah, uh, to give a tip, you know, if you're getting into this death metal business or growling business, yeah, I wouldn't worry about if my tone is uh, deep enough. Yeah, if I'm reaching a deep tone of voice, yeah. I think the most important thing, you know, is to now uh, communicate, to transmit your hate. You know, I, I even remember an a interview of Mike Tyson's trainer saying like, uh, when he punches, he doesn't aim the head of the opponent, but the room behind the head. Yeah, so you can imagine the explosion on that head, you know. <laughs> yeah, and... As a metaphor, this is the way you should see the, the growling, you know, like you are there to blow people's head off, you know, just do it, you know, just shout and blow uh, people, uh, people's head off, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a metaphor, okay, don't do any, any kind of shit on that gig, yeah, I'm not responsible for that, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, there are so many singers, you know, they laughed at this, uh, air modes and went to this voice modes, you know, as death metal and the time, you know, progressed, you know, like I can give you some examples, like let's listen to Self of the Journey 1991 by Napalm Death. Take away the way it sounds today. Yeah, 
he uh, he knows how to do that. You know, like that was really cool. Yeah. Um, Dallas Tolerweight, you know, X Nile, uh, also changed his vocals, you know, from the air mode into this voice mode, and take a look how he sounds. <laughs> And today, yeah, and uh, as a last example, we can even talk about John Tardy, you know, like the way he sang in 1990, for example, the infection. And the way he sings now. So I hope I have helped you. You know, I I hope I have given you some good tips. You know, so just get it, get out there and have some fun. You know, by blowing people's head off you know like <laughs> so see you around. <laughs>